Is your opponent getting away with hitting you weak, easy shots when you know you should be coming into the net? If that's the case, stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hit the approach shot like a pro. Let's get started. Hey there, Ramon Osu with you here. We're talking about the approach shot. Now, I was watching a match today and there's a couple of players probably around the 3.5 level or so, and they were having some really good points but one of the players kept getting short balls and he would kind of go up to the ball inside the baseline. He'd hit it and then he'd hesitate and then he would retreat. And um, you know, the rally would go on and then he'd end up losing the point because the other guy was just a little bit steadier. May have been a pusher. Has this ever happened to you? Well, here's the thing. You need a good approach shot, period. And if you think about it, it makes sense because you can put pressure on your opponent by taking away time and space. You can force them to hit a good shot, and it's just a little unnerving when a guy is charging the net like a bull. So you say, okay, great, Ramon, I'm in, but I don't really know how to hit the approach shot, or I'm, you know, I'm not too confident. By the way, I've been there, and I know how frustrating it can be when you try to hit the approach shot on an opportunity ball and you miss. But in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do it step by step. But before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I'm giving away one of my instructional courses for free. And the reason I'm doing it is number one is to help the community. And number two, I'm gonna do a little test and see if this helps the YouTube algorithm. So all you have to do to enter is like this video, share this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and number four and the most important is leave down in the comments what your biggest challenge is on the tennis court and what fixing it would do for you and be as descriptive as possible. And again, I'll be announcing the winner two weeks from today. All right, so let's get into the passing shot. The first thing we got to do is know where we're aiming this thing, okay? So conventional wisdom says you hit the approach shot down the line. And that makes sense from a kind of space standpoint because you can box your opponent in, you can cover the down the line passing shot, and you can still pluck off that cross court passing shot as a leaf falls on me. Now the second thing is you hit the ball down the middle, deep down the middle. And this is another good option because it's very hard to create an angled passing shot from a ball deep down the middle, especially if you're in that 3.0 to 4.0 range. Federer might be able to bend that ball around, but I bet you Joe at the park won't. The worst idea is to hit the ball cross court, generally speaking, because you open up the down the line passing shot, which is no good. Now one caveat in what can be the best idea of all is to just pepper your opponent's weaker side. A lot of players you'll play will have one glaring weakness, like they can't hit a backhand, so just hit the approach to his backhand and make him try to pass you. Probably won't be able to do it. All right, so you got your target, right? So now let's move on to how to hit this shot effectively. First, we wanna prepare our racket with our hands around the area that we wanna hit the ball. So for example, if you know your contact point on the approach shot that you're about to hit is gonna be up around your shoulders, you wanna have your hands in that general area. If you know you're gonna be getting down low for your approach shot, then your preparation's gonna be a little bit lower. Here's something else. We gotta aim a little bit lower on the approach shot. Because as we move forward, we shrink the court and we have less surface area to hit into. And hitting lower over the net gives us the ability to hit the ball aggressively and still keep it in the court. Make sense? Good. Okay, now number three, and this is one of the most crucial things, is you want to move through the approach shot. In other words, you don't want to kind of stop, plant, hit and run, okay? This is meant to be a transition shot. So you wanna move through it. And there's a couple of different options with the footwork that we're gonna cover in a future video. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe now. And finally, the last thing you wanna do is follow your shot. In general, it's pretty safe to just draw a straight line from you through the path of the ball and just follow that line like you're in kindergarten. This gives you the best chance to cut off your angle of your opponent's passing shot. All right, so you say, great, Ramon, those are really good tips, but how do I practice it? I got you covered. Let's walk through this step by step. So you wanna do all of these steps a lot of times until you really get it. Step one is to shadow swing. So as you go through this, visualize yourself moving through the approach shot, striking the ball, and then closing aggressively towards the net. Step two is to drop feed yourself a ball out in front of you. Then move forward as you hit your approach shot, and hit your split step. You can even add a little shadow volley in here if you want. And finally, step three is to get a practice partner, start a rally, and then take turns alternating between hitting the ball short and hitting your approach shot. 
And that's all there is to hitting a great approach shot. Just aim appropriately, prepare your hands on the level of the contact, move through the shot, aim low over the net, and follow the shot in and you'll be a star by Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching this video. As I mentioned, I'm giving away one of my instructional courses for free. And all you gotta do to enter is like this video, share it, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your biggest challenge is on the tennis court and what fixing it would do for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.